paint all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Fortmaster's vlog for the Warmer for the Thousand gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to day 23 up to 31 of this year's 2022 July painting challenge. You might not know this but I have actually been out on a vacation trip with my family and we went from uh, traveling down where I live down to a small island called Öland. But before we went there we stopped at a zoo called Kolmården. Kolmården is uh, a, a good type of zoo where they try to save animals and um, put them back out into the wild and conserve them for because humans are horrible people that uh, kills these animals. And you got to see quite a lot of uh, amazing animals, for instance the tigers, we got to see a dolphin show. Uh, the dolphin show, however, I think is going to be cancelled because it's gotten a lot of complaints for not being humane or something like that towards the dolphins. Uh, I'm no expert on this subject, so I will not t comment too much about it. Uh, it was amazing to watch, however, and uh, seeing the different tricks that they performed. Uh, so it's going to be sh surely missed, I would imagine. But uh, if, if it's not for their best health, I think it's good that they're going to stop it. But it was a really amazing thing. We were there for two days. Uh, the first day we had not the best type of weather. It was uh, a lot of clouds and towards the end of the day it started raining. Then we stayed overnight at a hotel and then moved on and went in a second day inside the park. Uh, we didn't stay as long this time around because uh, the, first, the first day we just watched animals and the second day my nephews, they were there to just ride the different uh, rides at a small small part of the zoo that's called Bamses Värd. Bamse is a, I think, Swedish creation. It's the world's nicest bear. He drinks honey that makes him super strong and he tries to fight for the weak. And he, he has a lot of uh, friends and uh, some sort of opponents that uh, opposes him. So that's more or less what we did. And the, the, one of the coolest things was the something called a safari here at the, the, the zoo where we traveled into different areas to see some animals from above. I think previously you've been able to go in with the car, but I think yeah, due to the fact that it's very disturbing of the, the animal's uh, habitation and there's uh, it's easy for the people to litter and um, disturb the animals, they might, might have stopped it. Also, a couple of years ago, a zookeeper at this uh, place was killed by wolves. I think uh, because of the security reasons that people aren't allowed to win with cars any longer and instead go with this. And it felt a little bit kind of like Jurassic Park. Now I can't play the, the theme but imagine like do 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 and that theme in the background. Uh, the, the hotel was quite nice. Uh, we have a lovely view uh, across this um, big lake I would say and uh, yeah it was pretty nice then after the second day we went forward and uh, traveled down to what we call Öland and where we stayed for a week the reason why we did this was because uh, my nephews they, they, they are quite small so we decided that we're gonna split the trip down in uh, two steps first we go halfway down and stay at the zoo and then we go the second half down forward the, ha the house at Öland was quite nice too I think uh, really lovely. Uh, I we had a it was huge, so we all had our own separate uh, rooms. The only problem I have is that it was a I had a hard time sleeping, but and I usually have this when I'm sleeping abroad, uh, outside of my own home. That uh, I'm I'm easily disturbed by how the bed feels if it's too hot and all that and I'm also usually I'm used to listening to music when I go to sleep and I can't listen to music when my my family's in the next room because they would be disturbed by that and listening to music through headphones that's also uncomfortable so uh, yeah do doomed if you do and doomed if you don't joining uh, this island together with the the mainland is is a huge bridge that you just drive across and it's really cool Ireland was quite dry at the moment we were there i think they, uh, they had been a drought just the the, the week before uh, not raining a lot and we, we were quite we were lucky with the weather because uh, most of the time it was sunny 
a, a really windy too so it wasn't that you were dying in the heat like I've been here at home uh, but uh, the, the only downside is that uh, sometimes in late nights even it was really cold actually for being at the end of July uh, instead of being really hot but uh, you get one thing and you also get one other. During our trip to Erland, we also went to a small city called Borgholm, and it was also really lovely there. And we went to one of the, the, the big fortress or the, the castle there. Uh, a fortress, I think, is actually more appropriate word for it. And it was really nice walking around. The unfortunate thing is that it was more ruins than anything else, so you couldn't see too much. You could walk around, and they had a, some exhibit and all that. Uh, and also there was a small part where children could try out different things that was very common for the um, Dark Ages. And that was really fun, like if shooting arrows with a bow and uh, then uh, pulling out a sword from a, a stone and uh, riding a horse to knock down an opponent, but it was uh, just uh, like a mechanical horse. Yeah, so overall it was a nice trip. I, I did a lot of reading while being away, because that's the only type of hobbying I can do. I finished one book, which was uh, the Ashurman, the Hand of Ashurian, which was is the first book in the Phoenix Lords series, one out of two. I think it was planned of making six books out of that series, but it, it, it got cancelled midway through. I almost finished the Jane Sar novel too, but unfortunately I have around 50 pages or so left on it. I also started reading Rites of Passage, which is a really fantastic book about navigators and a murder mystery and uh, some plots against this family and some house family politics, which I really loved. Uh, I can highly recommend this book, actually. Oh, one, one more thing. I, I also We went to Kalmar the last day, uh, which is a place where my grandfather lived back in the day, but before he died. And it was really nice uh, visiting, visiting that uh, town again for the first time in like 20 years or so. But uh, unfortunately we couldn't uh, visit the, the castle that's uh, placed over there too. So that's a shame. Anyway, so that's more or less my, my trip here uh, for the last week. You might not have noticed that I've been gone because I had fortunately planned out some videos ahead of time for you to enjoy. But anyway, so that's everything from my trip to Erland. Uh, this, this is the last week of um, this July painting challenge. I'm thinking about stretching out the, the challenge to the end of August. I'm not gonna do video updates every day because you know, in a, in, in a week or so I'm gonna start working again, but I am gonna start uh, continue working on the model so I can try and finish them up for like a, through the end of the summer. Anyway, so that's my trip for this week. We're gonna do some more last hobbying uh, updates and finish up the models and then we'll see where we get through. Uh, see you around everybody, bye bye.